Steam just fixed everything wrong with this ROG Ally. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to fix that. Now, the ROG Ally has a better screen and a better processor, so all around it's a better device, but the biggest problem with it is that it has Windows. So we're gonna install Steam OS today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get that done. Let's dive in. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is disable safe boot. If you don't disable it, it's not gonna let you proceed. You won't be able to boot into the device. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to hold down the volume down button and just press the power button. The ally will boot straight into the BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS, we're going to navigate to the bottom right, click advanced options. Then you're gonna look for security at the top left. We're gonna navigate down to secure boot and then we're going to disable the option. For the next step, you're gonna need some type of USB-C memory card or thumb drive. This will allow you to upload all the files to the Ally. Next, we're gonna download the recovery image or ISO file for SteamOS, and make sure you save it somewhere where you can locate it later. Now we're going to download Rufus. This is the utility that Steam recommends that we use, and it works perfect for what we're gonna do. And now that you have Rufus open, we're going to select the USB device and find that ISO file that we downloaded earlier. And now we can go ahead and hit start and it's gonna remind you that it's going to delete everything. Just make sure there's nothing on there that you wanna keep. With the boot drive created, we can now plug it in and go back into the BIOS like we did before by holding the volume down button and then just clicking the power button. Once again in the BIOS, we're gonna to go to advanced options, click boot, and then select the boot option that we want, which should be partition one. I set partition two as well, you don't need to do this, and then disabled windows so it doesn't go into that option at all. And once your settings look good, we're gonna click the button at the top left with the two little boxes, save the changes, and then it's going to restart the device. And upon restart, it's gonna go through and put text all over the screen. This is the installation process of SteamOS and then it's gonna launch us into this page. Uh, the option I selected at the top left was to do a fresh new install for the device. It is going to delete everything, um, and it's gonna give you a couple different pop-ups to select. I also did wanna mention this isn't going to be a dual boot. This is going to erase everything that's on your hard drive. Just make sure that you're willing to do that before proceeding. And during this process, it is gonna give you another pop-up. Make sure that you read everything thoroughly before proceeding. And finally, now we're in Steam OS and we're gonna go through the setup page. This is all pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi. It's gonna install a couple updates and it should kick you straight into the OS to where you can sign in. And at the end of this video, I did throw in some cyberpunk gameplay. But if you did appreciate this installation video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel greatly. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.